Hi there, we are here again to explain Tanto uh, Token. Actually, this is a study that we have within Bujutsu. Bujutsu is the form of war, so this is a free form. And we have here a very dangerous weapon, as it is the katana, in this case the yaito. And the tanto, that also is a very dangerous and fast weapon, although it's too short, so it means that for me to reach her, I have to be in a very close my. So I have to find a way to enter uh, into his safe area, a, a, an area that if he draw, if she draws a sword, for instance, that will be very hard for me to actually pass and go into that, that safe circle that imagine that here we have the sword. So if we do this circle movement, you see a safe area that the sword provides to the swordsman, in this case the swordswoman. And while mine is a very short weapon, so it's very easy for her actually to, to reach me, while for me to do that, I really need a DI movement to enter in that safe area of hers to try to stab or cut with the knife. So a DI movement means that in a strategy study that I'm going to complete my attack while she didn't complete hers. So it means that I have to be at least twice faster than she is. In that case, uh, the knife is a very good weapon for us to cut some anatomical structures as tendons and joints and in a way uh, avoid her to use well her, her hand or the movement of her arms actually to attack me. So a, an example would be before she actually draws the sword, I have to step forward, enter on that safe area, being careful not to, for her not to use the tsuka also to impact me as it could be as a tsuka uchi for instance, the kashira, that area of the sword is a metal. So we have some movements that we study with the tsuka actually to impact, to circle and also is a very good uh, way to achieve joints, mandibular area, nose or any kind of leverage that she can use to uh, make me lose the control or the space or make me blind for even one second or two seconds enough for her to draw the sword and stab me or cut me. So in this case, by cutting here, I'm actually uh, acting on the tendon of the wrist or hands, what will actually uh, make it more difficult for her to draw the sword and once the, the, the tanto starts, it continues, cutting or stabbing. So from here, for instance, she brought the head up to down. We have here, 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 here. That's a very important area for the circulatory system. So we have important uh, circulatory arteries here. Also, groin very good area to cut. I can revert the blade, attack in the other groin, here, here again, go to her back, bring her close to me, neck, or any other possibilities. Actually there's a lot of possibilities with the tanto. Uh, again, it doesn't matter, I have to uh, be careful with the blade. So in this case, let us study a sequence or any other example when she already draw the sword. And it's a more complicated situation. So imagine that she's going mm -hmm. to draw the sword. I gain space. So when she cuts me, whatever you want to do, that's when I enter. So I can block the attack here because she will be forcing the forearm down against the blade of the tanto. And remember that actually. They prepare the blade of the tanto the same way they prepare the blade of the sword. So, it's a very sharp blade. One, bring it, okay. I can here go for the tsuka, open the neck, vulnerable, throat, bring it lateral, 
armpit, ribs, inverted blade. So under and up and behind the thoracical uh, bone structure, it goes to the heart or lungs. Again, groin, bring her down. I can even step over the sword to avoid her to catch or to try to react. We understand that sometimes the adrenaline in the body to preserve himself actually doesn't allow the person to see the damage that we did. So the body continues reacting normally for a few seconds. And then again here. A lot of targets to cut or to stab. So that's actually, we can study a lot of sequence, but they will basically uh, start with the principle that we have to make the mind shorter and once the tanto starts, it will apply five, six, seven attacks till the situation is controlled. So that's it. I hope you can understand this. Thank you very much.